Hello, my name is Wil van der Aalst and it's my great pleasure to introduce to you the course Business Process Intelligence. This course is organized by the Chair of Process and Data Science. Uh, in our chair we focus on the interplay between process science, yeah, so how to improve processes and to understand operational processes, and data science, yeah, so using the data that is actually available. One of the core topics in this area is process mining, a rapidly growing field, and it's fair to say that we are the leading group in the field of process mining. There is a rapidly growing interest in industry, so at this point in time there are over 40 software vendors, many of them in Germany and some of them really big. So the interesting thing of process mining is that it is a, re a relatively young field where you can make a difference and where you have both practical challenges and also more, let's say, academic uh, challenges. So it's a very interesting and exciting field. To have a basic understanding of process mining, I'm showing you this, this diagram. The basic idea is that we start from data in all kinds of systems, for example, Salesforce, SAP, Microsoft Dynamics, Oracle, or whatever information system an organization is using. We extract the data and then we apply our process mining techniques with the goal in the end to improve and better understand these processes. The first step after extracting the data is to discover the processes as they actually take place. So we do not look at what people say, we look at what they actually do. After discovering automatically, and you will learn several algorithms to do that, after discovering these process models, we use these process models to understand where is the process deviating, where are bottlenecks, where are things that we would like to improve. Also here, you will see, for example, if I uh, look at the topic of conformance checking, that this poses interesting challenges that relate to, for example, optimization problems that you need to solve. Uh, of course, the goal is to actually improve processes and to predict what is going on. So process mining has a very natural way of creating machine learning problems that tell you what is going to happen next and what kind of actions you can take to, uh, to improve these processes and to avoid certain problems. What you can already see from my story is that this has on the one hand great practical relevance, but it also, because it's a relatively young field, it also poses many scientific challenges. If we look at the practical side, at this point in time, as I mentioned before, there are over 40 software vendors providing this software. In Germany, the most well-known example is Salonis. That is the only Decacorn that Germany has at this point in time. At the same time, there are many organizations already using this technology. Over half of the Fortune 500 companies are already applying process mining. If you look at large German companies, you will see that most of them are already applying this technology. So it's very applied, but at the same time, a very young field uh, with many, uh, many interesting challenges that still need to be solved. In other words, jobs are guaranteed if you have expertise in this area. If we look at how the BPI course is organized in this uh, semester, as usual, we will have two lectures every week and one instruction. We start on Monday, the 4th of April. The working assumption, eh, due to COVID, one can never be certain, is that we will have in-presence teaching, but at the same time we have high quality material from earlier years. Uh, this course involves using real software, both open source and commercial software, and you will be able to work with real data sets. There will be practical assignments, yeah, so that will account for 40% of the points where you are showing that you can actually apply the techniques that you've learned in the, in the lectures. And at the end, there is a, a final exam that accounts for 60%. Uh, the course is offered both at the bachelor and master level. Please check your study program whether you are allowed to take this course. Hope to see you on Monday the 4th of April in our lecture.